Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Daniel. First of all, I'd like to say I'm a bit sick today. I'm currently having corona and but I'm recovering. It's going really, really well. Yesterday was really bad. So I figured I'm fresh enough today to actually record a video. So this is my first video I'm going to record after having corona. So anyways, I decided to, to go further into the Linux Privesk stuff. You know, I've been doing Linux previous escalation for some time now on my channel and decided to look for stuff on TryHackMe. Now, there are several rooms discussing how we can Privesk on Linux and I found this one called Linux Privesk Arena. And basically, <coughs> we, are, we are giving some credentials to a machine called TCM and Hacker123. So basically, So I'm going to go ahead and press uh, complete it here because I read the things and I'm going to go ahead and start the machine. So the very first time we run it, we need to, this room will teach us a, var a variety of Linux previous tactics, including kernel exploits, pseudo attacks, issue ID attacks, schedule attacks, and more. So. We can access it here by looking at the GitHub repository by the guy, so thanks for creating the room. Um, and we only need the tools that are in use of... I, I guess this is for if, if, if you're running the attack box, I'm not sure... Yeah. So let's see... Whenever the box is up, I'm gonna SSH into it, and basically, I guess it's about now. I don't know if it's that fast or anything, but let's just try anyways, SSH. And what was the TCM? Yeah, 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 so TCM, I don't know if it's capitalized, let's just do that. 10, 10, 64, and Uh, let's just ping it. Let's also check if I have my... Yes, that's my IP. I'm really happy. I'm just too fast, I guess. So... Let's just give it a second, I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, so the machine is up, I was just too fast. Let's go ahead and SSH into it, and yes, and the password would be hacker123. So now that we are in, let's go ahead and just, because we are hackers, I guess, then let's go ahead and change this to green on black, just for today. Usually don't like this, but today it is okay. So we're locked in, it's a Debian machine, and basically we are tasked to do a variety of different privileged techniques. And the one I'm gonna do today is the one called kernel exploit, I guess, let's see if we do more than this. So we need to, in the command you type blah blah blah, so we need to user home user tools. So let's go to home user and then tools. What? Okay, we are already here. I don't know why. I'm so we have different tools here we can use, and they told us to use this folder here so so we should think uh, of this as a server that's already been you know we already got initial foothold now we are you can see some TCM user we're not really you know we're not rude I guess we're, well we're not we're not rude because it doesn't say rude we're part of some some different groups you can see but definitely we're not rude so uh, what the ones to run first something called dirty cow let's go into this dirty cow and then we have a file called cow.c 
and <clears throat> what I want us to do is is basically uh, in the Linux command prompt we will need to type this Linux exploit suggester very interesting let's go one step back and go to the Linux exploit suggester now I haven't really been using this script a lot but let's just run it for now and what it will do is to basically look through this the server we are on and it will suggest different exploits for us so if we wish to learn what this command does the Linux we can always just nano into it and here you can see that it's it's uh, some script that's basically just gonna let me see yeah 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 it's going to let's see it seems like I've, I'm not really reading this but it seems like it, it does look at the machine and, and, and basically try and, and guess what kind of script we should use for an exploit so now that we run this from the output we notice that the operating system is vulnerable to dirty cow alright then let's go ahead and see if we can find this so the OS is yeah we actually have it right here it's uh, you can find the vulnerability details here on this github repository and it does have a CV number here you can go and look it up and we also have the actual uh, exploit here let's go have a look at it it's called 4611 so let's go look at it here on exploit DB <coughs> 4611 and this is the one uh, is it? Let's just. Uh, no. Let's go ahead and search for this instead. Let's do this. So. How about this. There we go. And let's see. Let's see. If it's one of those here I'm pretty sure yeah 4611 that is the one it is called it's loading it is called it's a Linux kernel exploitation so the name is dirty cow I don't know why they called it that you know it could it could basically just be because that the the guy who created the exploit had some you know avatar or something Anyways, it's um, it seems like this is some race condition, uh, memory race condition thing, and race condition is basically when you have multiple of processes running or threads basically the same. Um, the idea is that they race for the condition, and if you have race condition, it basically means that you kind of you're locked in a way. The, the, the two threads, let's, let's assume it's threads today, so let's say that you have 16 threads running and two of them, you know, trying to access the same memory area, let's say, say that is the case at the same time, then you have a race condition. So this can cause unpredicted results and in some cases it can cause uh, right access, it seems, this case. So race condition is a highly difficult thing to exploit not really sure how they're doing this code here it seems to be pretty simple um, yeah it's about some threads running and and basically this will enable us to I, I assume to get higher privileges why this is the room called Privesk on Linux I haven't been running this before and there are tons of different you know, Privesk uh, methods out there. This is just a single exploit. It's not simple, it's just a single exploit. And there are tons of single exploits that does memory Privesk stuff. I mean, just basically Privesk stuff. 
So let's go back to the tutorial here and it says the exploitation of it is in the command we need to compile this code and I'm not really going to go through this but GCC is a compiler and we are compiling it to the file dot to call a cow which is tech O for that so let's go ahead and copy this and let's go clear and go one back go to dirty cow put in the command yeah we're already there anyways and now we have our cow file and we can see that it is executable and readable by everyone so basically what we can do now is go run the cow and it says dirty cow root privacy escalation backing up the user bin password to turn back. So this is the first thing. Okay, so it says it might take a minute or two to please allow it some time to work. In the command prompt, we're going to type password wd and then type id and then we should probably have, you know, a higher privilege. So let's, whoop. Nope. Let's go ahead and see. Can I type now? Uh, maybe we need to give it some time. So I'm gonna leave it on for a minute and pause the video. All right. So I basically just looked away for a time or two, and what I really saw here now is that I, I did, um, I did execute my commands. As you can see. And I'm root. Let's just who am I? So we are now root. This is one particular way to do previous escalation on Linux machines. This is just using this single exploit. There are probably not that many kernel exploits live these days. Who knows what kind of zero exploit there might be lurking on the internet waiting to be exploited? I don't know. But this is one of them, and I think I really want to show you that even don't be afraid of kernel exploits because most of the times so there's an exploit you can use and just execute it, and it will work pretty fine. See you again. Take care.